Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing? This is a video of my new solar um, 60 amp, 240 volt disconnect switch from my solar power shop going to my house. Uh, can't stress safety enough. I have a couple disconnects up there in the shop for transfer switches and all for my generators and all when I'm off grid or vice versa. But now I can just come out here and cut my main well, when there is a power out, power outage, and I still have uh, um, either either or when the power's out, the power's out. But that's just another safety feature. I got like uh, this is my third AC disconnect. You can't, I can't stress enough not, of not have, having too many disconnects. And this is a Siemens uh, general duty safety switch. It's fused. Uh, and let's see here, hazardous voltage will cause death or serious injury. Turn off before replacing any fuse disconnect power, before turning power on. Okay, we well, see that, and I got my, I got it marked with my main photovoltaic system, AC disconnect. I got that marked. And there's where, that's my place where I'm going to put my lock, where I got a little hasp. My power company recommended me to put a hasp there. So they won't need bolt cutters to unlock it. Um, also, I got another label over there. That's PV system. Circuit breaker is backfit. So that's just letting the fire department or, you know, if I'm not here, something happens. Hey, we're good to go. All right, and I'll take you. I look, take you for look inside of it. Of what it looks like. I have an electrician come by this morning. We wired that bad boy up, and it's right next to my meter where it should be. All right. And this thing, thing is live, so we want to let you let just take a look inside, see what it consists of. I'll shut it off, shut the power off. There we go. So that, that that's not gonna come open. Not unless you pull pull that lever down or you know have to, have to get into it. But now she shut off. And uh, that's where everything she consists of. Um like I say, it's he did electrician did a wonderful job. Um take it for a little look inside. But that's what she consists of right there. Fuses, my bus bars, my grounds. 240 volt, 60 amps. That's what's coming from a shop. My, but my inverter is 120 volt. But that's what the power comes from, 60 amps or 240 volts. That makes sense. It's the only way to really do it right is to shut, to shut the whole building down. Which is no big deal. I'll get everything backed up, my freezer and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we get in there a little butter. But yeah, he did an awesome job. It didn't leave any trash around or nothing. I was like, man, what the hey? My other electrician I had before him. He would leave trash and everything beside him and everything else. That's good to clean up after yourself. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's shut this thing up and I'll show you what uh, I'm using. For uh, my lock, I'm using a I'm using a uh, brass uh, switch lock. I like to use a sailboat, sailing vessels, that kind of stuff. But I just simply put that in there like that. Put my power back on, and that has to go in there. And she's locked, and there's no way it can come open. Um, so I can either put a bolt in there, whichever, whichever safest. But 
Yeah, a lock would have, you know, they didn't have to kick bolt cutters and uh, all that good stuff. All right, let's take you through another tour, y'all, of what we got so far. We did an excellent job. Just silicone and everything, put duct seal all around, all the good stuff. All right. And I'm using my new camera, by the way, my power shot. Canon Power Shot S650S, S650 HS. You have the John Boat Project still going on. So, you know how that goes. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll walk into the shop. Show my other little disconnects. What I've done to. All that good stuff. Show you the internals, what's going on in there. I did some more um, other things. Got some lights on in here. And it's a cloudy day outside. And there are some more lights on. Right here, I put a main photovoltaic system disconnect. It's, that's DC. DC disconnect, main photovoltaic. With a main breaker for my inverter. And that shuts everything off. So, we're making some. Well, I just shut the power off. So, the system is like, hey. We just they just shut power off, so right now I'm not I'm not selling anything. But that's what happens when the power goes out. I mean, but then I, then I cut it back on. All right, this is what we're doing right here. So we're just charging batteries right now. So after that does its thing, then we'll be back up selling again or feeding loads back to the house and we're at 20 29.2 volts right now and it's cloudy conditions outside it's 77 in here and 78 outside um that's the conditions are and it's cloudy kind of overcast but we're at 29.2 volts, like I said before. And we're charging. Yeah, okay. And the kid, the Midnight Solar Kid, it is doing his thing. And it's a float. Yep, doing real good. Um, but anyway, the same thing with the, same thing with the Outback Flex Max 80s, MPPT. Bring us some power, 200 watts. And also, um, we're at 110 watts now and we're tracking. Uh oh, now we just started to sell the power again. Oh, I'm sorry about that, y'all. Let me get back on that. Now we're tracking. And we're making 80 watts. Power 90 watts. Let's climb 100 watts. Alright, and so on. And, uh, kid just took off. And that's making 29 watts. And those are those smaller, 100, two 120 watt panels out there. Set up in series, make 24 volts. All right. And now we're putting out 373, 75 watts. And we're actually selling 200 watts of power right now. 
we're good to go. Alright. Okay, so system's in check. And also, uh, my other disconnects. Uh, it's starting to rain. Ooh, no. Alright. My other disconnects. Oh, I got stressed before. AC disconnects. Right here. Um, this is off grid. Grid tie, that's when it's, it's on now. But when I flip the switch up, that's off grid or disconnected from AC. And my other disconnect, well, it's, it's an extra fuse. I can either shut the main service disconnect off this way, or I can go down and shut that 30 amp single pole 120 volt breaker off um, to disconnect from my inverter so I won't feed any power back to my whole household and my property well, anyway y'all just give you a quick update on what's going on and that's it and as y'all know Oh, it's just a few raindrops. Whew, we're safe right now. I do need some rain. And back here are my generator plugs. Case at night, or we got a lot of, uh, uh, if we have a lot of uh, cloudy days or during a hurricane at night, or there's no sun at all, I can keep everything, everything my battery's charged with my generators. Behind the EU 2000i or my Honda um, EU 3000 IS. But anyway, y'all, let's get back to where we're going. And everything, everything I have, like I say, runs from this power shop over to that point here underneath, underneath the ground. Well, here, here it is, right here. Sorry, y'all. Everything I have runs right here from main box. That's my conduit. It goes underneath the ground. Underneath the ground. Conduit runs underneath the ground. My power is going right there underneath the house and conduit. And then it goes straight to my, all the way, all the way from over there to my panel box that, that we just saw right behind the hot tub. But yeah, that's a long run and that's why it's 60 amp, 240 volts got enough power to run weld machines and that kind of stuff this is my original power shop before I had the big one and anyway uh, let's see here all right try to make this short and sweet but uh anyway I just want to give you a little update what's uh, what we got going on with the solar solar and renewable energy system Safety first. Safety is my main concern. And I got the air conditioner on today. It's about 80 degrees. Well, getting close to 80 degrees. Hot and muggy. And as you see, the meter is not spinning at all. At all. All right. Yep, not spinning. Okay. All right, well, that's what we got. And just want y'all give y'all an update of what's going on here. All right. Oops, sorry about that, y'all. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. This is KVU SMC, and please subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Y'all take it easy now. Take care. Uh, this is KVU SMC, or Kenny, over now.